Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about expanding something called a perfect squares or perfect squares. Uh, now this is a really frustrating one for me because people make the same mistake over and over and over and over again. So I'm going to show you the right way to do it and then I'm going to show you the mistake that people keep making uh, so you don't make that mistake. So what I'm going to do is expand this. This is our perfect square, x plus 4 in brackets squared. Now um, the way to do this is to think of it as a binomial expansion, as a set of brackets, because it's this bracket multiplied by itself. So it's actually something more like this. x plus 4 times x plus 4. So these are the same thing. x plus 4 squared just means x plus 4 multiplied by itself, which is x plus 4 times x plus 4. Now, you know how to expand this. It's first outer inner last and you can see two like terms there x squared plus 4x plus 4x is 8x plus 16 so x plus 4 squared is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16 when you expand it. Now if I do one more here, we can see that 2x minus 5 squared, that's going to be the same as 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5. And we do our same thing that we always do. Uh, first, 2x times 2x is 4x squared outer negative 10x, that's negative 5 times 2x, inner negative 5 times 2x, negative 10x, and last negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. You can see here, like terms, 4x squared minus 20x, negative 10x, negative 10x, negative 20x, plus 25. Now you should see a pattern starting to form. The pattern is that these middle numbers are always the same when we're dealing with perfect squares. So they join up. We can do like a general formula for this. We can say that a plus b squared is equal to the first number multiplied by itself, a squared, the last number multiplied by itself, b squared, and the thing in the middle is going to be a times b multiplied by 2. 2ab. And you can see that works for both cases here, and it'll work for every single perfect square. Uh, this times this is x squared, so a multiplied by itself, a squared, x squared. 2x times 2x, 4x squared, 2ab, that's this number, times this number, 4x, times 2, that's 8x, 2ab, a times b times 2, and finally, b squared, the last number multiplied by itself, 4 squared is 16. So this is the general formula for perfect squares. You should try to memorize this. A plus B squared is A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. And you should be able to recognize that something's a perfect square. Now, I mentioned at the start that people make the same mistake over and over and over again. So let me show you the mistake so you never make it. The mistake that people make is they see X plus 7 squared. And they think that to expand this bracket, all they need to do is square the first number, X squared, and then square the next number, 7 squared, and then they get x squared plus 49. That's what they think. They square this, they square this, they add them together. That's the end. So wrong. So wrong. I really don't want to see that happen in any uh, exams. It's going to make me super mad. Please do not make that mistake. Expanding a perfect square takes a little bit more work than that, as you can see here, as you can see here. Make sure you write that down. Make sure you write the mistake down. Make sure you cross it out so you never, ever do it. Okay, that's expanding perfect squares.